How you doing? Welcome to my first tutorial for for YouTube and for my website. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to mix vocals. My name is Rick Scott, and um, I'm with T Breed Design, which actually that name is going to change. Right now, it's T Breed Design. It's going to change to Rick Scott Productions. That's going to be coming in the next couple of months. So depending on when you look at this, the website might be up and it might be Rick Scott Productions or it might be T Breed Design. So it really depends on when you look at this. But what we're going to do today is we're going to mix vocals. A lot of people um, basically have problems. They struggle with mixing vocals. I'm going to show you some tricks. I'm not saying these are the only things in the world you need to do to make your vocals right. Because a lot of times what you do to your vocals is going to depend on what you need to do to them. But this is just going to give you some tips and some things that you can do to um, to mix your vocals. So uh, before I get started, I'm going to play this track that I am working on. Uh, the track is called uh, Divorce. Um, and I wrote it, obviously, because at the time I wrote it, um, I was going through some stuff. So that's the reason why I wrote the song. And um, let's just play it. Here's I'm gonna play a piece so you understand what we're working with. Let's just take a listen. This is the track. I guess I never thought that we would be in this situation. I guess I always thought that love would be a part of us. I was guess I should have seen it coming, but I didn't know how you were feeling. Okay, we won't play the whole thing. Um, okay, so that's a piece of that. As you can tell, the vocals are really, really dry. There's nothing going on with them. The first thing that you should do, or the first thing that I do when I'm working on mixing vocals, is I solo the actual vocals, all the vocals that I have here. I solo them. I listen to them. And what I'm listening for basically is levels. A lot of times you can hear the differences and your levels and the reason why it's so important to get it right on this particular track is because for the lead vocal on the verses I pretty much like recorded half the song at one point and I recorded half of the song at another point I had like a two month layoff before I came back to working on this track you know what can I say real life happens and um, that's never recommended you, sh you know if you can go through and do all your vocals at once you should always do that and the reason why is because no matter how good you are at setting up your levels and going back and recording, it's never going to be exactly the way it was when you recorded the first time. So you might have your settings perfect. I mean, you sound great because of how you got things set up when you record. But if you come back two weeks later and you try to duplicate those settings, there's always going to be something off. Sometimes it's not going to be like obvious to the ear. In this particular situation, it is obvious, at least to my ear anyway. I can tell that it's different. So... I need to work on, the first thing I need to do is to level things off. So what we're going to do, I'm going to listen to this solo. I'm going to show you the two parts that I need to really listen to. But I'm going to listen to the whole thing, actually, really, and um, try to figure out what's going on. But here it is. This is what is acapella. Um, first part of it that I need to listen to. I guess I never thought that we would be in this situation. Okay, that's the first part. Uh, that's the first verse. Now, let's go a little further into the track. Let's go to the uh, second verse. Now, you heard that, right? This is the second verse, what it sounds like. I guess that I should know by now that things will never be the same. Now, I can hear that the vocals are off. So, what I need to do now is I need to figure out on that particular uh, that channel, which is uh, channel 3. I need to figure out what the differences should be in that particular part. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up uh, a program, uh, plugin from Waves to actually look at the um, the levels. And what I use to analyze uh, again, we're going to use a lot of a lot of plugins from um, Waves. Waves is a suite that I like. I have a lot of different uh, plugins, but um, Waves is probably one of the best. There's a lot of other things, a lot of other plugins out there, but that's the one that I used more than anything. So we're going to take it to a few things, though. Um, but, okay, I'm going to use Frequency Monitor. 
And again, frequency monitor. Um, if you got something else you like using, that's fine. All I'm doing here is really um, listening to. I'm going to pay attention to the far left, which has the um, the volumes. And the reason why I like this, as opposed to doing this in uh, Cubase, is because it shows me the numbers. So I'm going to bring that. Let's go back to the beginning of the track, and let's bring it back up the frequency monitor. And as soon as I hit it, there we go. Okay. Now, what we're going to pay attention to, the first thing we're going to do is going to look at the first verse. We're going to look at the levels, figure out where they are. And then we're going to go to the second verse, look at the levels, and see where they are, and compare them to see if they're they're um, on or if they're off. And then we're going to make the adjustments. So let's listen to the first verse. Here we go. I guess I never thought that we... We'd be in this situation. I guess I always thought the love would be a part of us. Okay, so as you can see, it's somewhere between negative 12 and negative 9. That's where we live on the first verse. Now let's go to the second verse. And again, let's do the same thing. Let's pull back up this um, monitoring tool. And let's see where we live on this one. I guess that I should know by now that things will never be the same. Now, you can look at that, and now it's obvious. It's obvious that that one lives in negative 15. I mean, so we're going to try to adjust that volume. So what we're going to do is, uh, because this is actually on the same track, okay, I could do an automation. I don't like doing automation. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually highlight that whole section. And we're going to raise the volume up, basically pulling up the blue uh, squares. We'll bring up the volume. And we're going to try to bring it up to a level that will match what we got on the first one. So we're gonna, let's do this. We're going to bring it up. I'm going to bring it up like, uh, bring it up like uh, negative... 1.14 you see the numbers right there let's go a little higher than that let's go let's go to negative 72 all right we're going to try negative 72 to see if that's going to bring the levels up to where the other levels are so let's look and see what we've done i guess that i should know by now that things will never be the okay it should come up still a little bit more so let's try to do a little more than that let's highlight the whole whole part again and I'm going to bring it up even higher so let's take it all the way to uh, close to maybe we're actually past 0 dB we're at 95 dB so we're right now let's see what that where that puts us at okay here we are I guess that I should know by now that things will never be the same. But I always hope that we would work this out. Okay, I think that's good enough. Uh, you can play around with it, tweak it a little more, but I think that evens that out. Now what we're going to do is, all right, we I feel good about that level on that on um, the lead vocals for uh, for channel three. Now we're gonna listen to everything together. And we're going to actually mix the levels to where we want them on the rest of the vocals. We're going through one through five right now, the vocals. So we're going to mix those levels and try to make sure that they're where we want them to be. So let's go back again. Again, a great way to mix your vocals is to start off mixing them a cappello. So you can hear things exactly the way you want them to be. Then you're going to bring it into music and make sure it sounds where, you know, the same or where you want it to be when the music is playing. So let's listen to, we're going to listen to a larger, much larger piece of this this time. So let's go and listen to it. I guess I never thought that we would be in this situation. I guess I always thought that love would be a part of us. But I was wrong. Guess I should have seen okay, I, it I, coming. I, think I need to. I think I need to bring that. I was wrong up a little bit. Um, so this time what we're going to do is um, instead of pulling up the actual uh, 
volume on the track itself. We're going to go to the mixer for um, number four, channel uh, four, track four, however you want to, whatever you want to call it. And um, actually, you know what? Let's do this. Where, you know what? Hmm. Well, let's start. Let's start over. I'm not going to do that. All right. Um, let's go back and look at this to it again. And I think I'm going to probably have to listen to it a few times. But you know what? Instead of going to the mixer so that I can keep this screen up, let's go to channels. Go to channels and we can mix it right on the board. So let's listen to it. Here we go. I that we would be in this situation. I guess I always thought that love would be a part of us, but I was wrong. Guess I should have. Okay, now, because this is a background voice, uh, it's not the lead. It doesn't have to match, but it want you want it to come up so you can hear it, so it sounds good, sounds clear in the mix. So let's listen to it again. Love would be a part of us. But I was now that's too loud, so I bring it down a little bit. I don't want it to overpower the lead vocal because this is still, this is a supporting vocal. It's not a lead vocal, so we want to bring it down a little bit. Sometimes you gotta play with this a few times to get it to where you want it. Uh, but I was wrong. Guess I should have seen it coming. Okay, I think that works. All right, let's listen to uh, the change. I'm going to switch and move quickly to the change and see where the levels are there. So this is what it sounds like. I know that you, oh, you gave up on me. You, you gave up on us. 